afternoon and evening, dudes. Dudettes, welcome back to this week's episode of You Two Noobs. Cars 3 trailer just dropped. We are super excited. We cannot wait. We loved Cars 1 and 2. Lightning McQueen is my all-time favorite. Our kids love it. I think everybody loves it. It's really a good Disney movie that's good for children and adults. There's a lot of humor in it, a lot of good comedy. If you haven't seen it, I don't know where you've been for the last 10 years, sleeping under a rock, you should definitely check it out. But it definitely inspired us to do another DIY this week. We've got a couple of pieces of wood, some pictures of the new movie, as well as some pictures of the old movies. And we're going to see if we can't transfer those printed out pictures just from our home's laser jet printer and uh, transfer those to these pieces of wood. Check it out. To start this week's DIY, you will need gloss medium, a foam brush, and printed pictures of your design, as well as Mod Podge or some other form of seal. Remember, if your design has words, they will come out backwards unless you flip the picture before printing. You will also need a piece of wood that will fit your design. For ours, we collaged three pictures together so our piece is a 1 by 12 by 24. Test fit your designs before applying any of the medium so you can make sure you get the placement correct. Trim any edges or overlap. Apply an even layer of the gel medium, then carefully place your picture, print it side down, and press to adhere. If you have multiple pictures, move on to the next area and repeat the same process until finished. After all of your prints are in place, clean up any extra medium, then flip the board and apply firm pressure to help make sure they are pressed completely flat. Allow to dry for a minimum of 8 hours, overnight is better. After it's completely dry, you'll need a washcloth or sponge and some warm water. Simply dip the cloth or sponge in the water, wring it out until damp but not soaked, then apply steady but gentle pressure and rub your design. Circles work best for this. You'll begin to see the paper come off, revealing your design below. If you apply too much pressure or rub too hard, you'll remove the actual design, so make sure to be careful. Let's go. After all of the paper is removed and any remaining moisture has dried, you can apply your seal. We use three layers of Gloss Mod Podge on ours. That's all the time we have for this week's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out to our new VidMe community. We finally got on the bandwagon and made an account over there and started uploading some of our videos. This week will be the first new video to release on VidMe, so make sure you check it out. We'll leave a link down in the description. Everybody over there has been super nice, super supportive, and we're really happy to be a part of the community there. So uh, if you guys over on VidMe don't know, here we call each other dudes and dudettes, and uh, we're all part of Donation, D Nation. And if you want to be a dude or dudette and join Donation, make sure you nail, nail that, that like button, button hammer, hammer that, that subscribe button, button smash, smash that, that follow button. button, and if you got time, maybe give it an upvote. Be back next week for the next episode. I